Heart disease is the number one cause of death in the United States in both men and women. The following portion of Live at Nine is sponsored by Stern Cardiovascular Center. And joining us now is their president, Dr. Steve Gubin. Thank you so much for being with us. Well, I want to thank you for having me. Um, heart disease is even a little bit more prevalent here in the Mid-South. And as a cardiologist, I like, I like to say that I'm a little bit embarrassed by this fact and I hope that we could do something to change this uh, statistic. You gave us the problem. What do you do to prevent heart disease? You need to know your risk factors. It's really important is your family history. If you have a brother or father who's had heart disease at less than 55, that's the significant risk factor. If you've had a mother or sister less than 65, that's considered a risk factor. So you can't do anything about your family history, but if your family history is significant for heart disease, you need to be even more proactive and more aggressive in treating what we call modifiable risk factors. These are risk factors that you can do something about. Um, one of the first ones would be like high blood pressure. Mm. It's really important. I mean, they've gotten much more strict in the guidelines. Now we'd like for someone to really strive for a blood pressure of 120 over 80. So at least less than 130 over 80 for sure. And things that you can do to get your blood pressure down is lose weight, avoid salt, don't take non steroidals. These are all things that can raise your blood pressure. What are some of the typical symptoms we should look out for? You may not feel anything with, uh, with blood pressure, but it's very important you know, to really control your blood pressure because over time it can cause damage. Another modifiable risk factor is high cholesterol. It's really important for you to know your numbers. Like your total cholesterol, just remember it should, you should strive to get it less than 200. And the LDL, which is the lousy cholesterol, L for lousy, I think everybody should strive to get your LDL below 100. And if you have heart disease, you should get it less than 70. The HDL, which is the happier, healthy cholesterol, the higher, the better. So you'd like for your total cholesterol to HDL ratio to be less than four. And then the triglycerides, which are the fat in the blood, you'd like to get that less than 150. If your triglycerides are high, high Avoidance of sugar, alcohol, and weight loss are things that will improve your triglycerides. Another modifiable risk factor is diabetes. It's very important to make sure your blood sugars are well controlled. And if you're a type one or a type two diabetic, it's a significant risk factor for heart disease. It's real important to have you know, a well-balanced diet. We recommend a lot of fruits and vegetables and whole grains. You should decrease your saturated fat intake. You should watch your salt consumption and also your sugar intake. Another important modifiable risk factor is exercise. It's important to stay very active, to keep moving. Uh, we recommend at least 150 minutes of moderate type of exercise a week. If you're significantly overweight and you lose even 5% of your weight, it can do lots of benefits in regards to your cardiovascular health. Here at Stern, we have a really robust weight loss program, and I would highly recommend that you consider it if you're trying to lose weight. Uh, we have been putting your information on the screen, your website, your telephone number, and your address, so people can get in contact with you for early screening so they can detect it as soon as possible. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you very much. The preceding portion of Live at Nine is sponsored by Stern Cardiovascular.